Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to continue speaking regarding Warpets uh, since I already announced that I'm going to make updated guides for every single Warpet in the game simply because the old guides uh, which I take was like 7 to 6 months ago and after that a lot of new uh, patches came up, a lot of new updates regarding Warped system, so uh, in general a lot have, have changed. So it's time for me to uh, make an updated version of the Warped guides and let's uh, speak about uh, Berserker Fedric today, right? I have already done a guide about uh, Sapphire Fedric, now it's time, time to speak about Berserker one. As always, I will speak that the uh, legendary warpet is worth it and try to get it uh, as soon as possible, right? Simply because uh, after all these updates, it got even much easier to get legendary warpet. Uh, simply because there is a lot of uh, regeneration potions out of the events. Uh, uh, also, the higher level of warpets on the field, which will give you more chance to get legendary one. And if you ask me what's the big difference between legendary and epic warpets, the uh, difference is pretty high. And I will tell you why, okay? Simply, I will show you like legendary first pair. Uh, I have almost every attribute on S tier, and S is highest attribute with the uh, tiers of the warpet attributes. And if we're gonna compare it to the epic one, the maximum is A tier. Uh, and the difference is pretty pretty high so I would uh, recommend everybody to try to get uh, legendary ones uh, because like even single S is the highest uh, points in the attribute right uh, in general for the Berserker Fedric the, uh, it has a three main attributes first is strength second one is agility and then is luck uh, it will be preferable for you to get S ranks on strength agility and luck so you will get higher uh, skill uh, powers with the attributes itself so yeah try to get legendary one and if you are playing with berserker frederick try to get strength agility and luck on the highest tiers of the attributes now the most important uh, we need to speak about skills the main skill of the berserker frederick is arrogance basically this arrogance uh, like gives uh, marks uh, cowardice which is giving you like extra two marks stacks and like after some time you are whenever your secondary hero will cast a skill rage skill you are dealing additional damage and the like maximum you can add is eight nine stacks so like first of all right now it might be confusing for you but uh, after reading this skill it has already a great hero pair which i will speak about hero pairs later in the game so how to build a uh, Berserker Fedric, right? Uh, in general, uh, after these updates, uh, my advice would be to get the main skill like at least on one star because it adds a huge difference. So try to get the main skill on the one star, okay? After that, of course, we're gonna finish Arrogance line. Uh, main skill is ar Arrogance. And after that, I will go uh, with the Terrible Arrogance to give more power to the main skill, which is determined by luck. And the arrogance is agility skill, as you can see. So terrible arrogance would be the second skill, and of course, uh, forceful arrogance. And we are finishing the synergy with arrogance in general. Uh, in general, I think uh, the main skill should be upgraded until the end. Like as always, it has a three syner synergistic skills. So uh, arrogance, forceful arrogance, and terrible arrogance would be my choice. After that, then it's uh, it's kind of tricky. It's about your free will, how you can build your warpit. But um, in my opinion, a fierce attack would be amazing, uh, simply because we are getting uh, uh, more damage when Deputy is, uh, is casting Rage Skill, and first attack gives 40% chance to deal damage to the target when your Deputy casts a Rage Skill. You can already understand the synergy, uh, which is pretty insane in my opinion. So, like, Arrogance and First Attack has a great, great synergy. After that, um, I'm gonna upgrade the First Attack uh, with the Super First Attack, which gonna give us Trigger Chance, and it's determined by luck, and as I said, Strength, Agility, and Luck, main attributes, right? So, uh, I'm gonna add the First Attack, and then I'm gonna get the Super First Attack, and of course, there is another skill, uh, with the first attack, uh, which is called, I'm gonna find it right now, 
uh, forceful first attack. Uh, this kind of is simply increasing your damage all around with the first attack. So, like in general, Berserker Frederick's um, like main skill and this uh, first attack has a big synergy. And I would highly recommend to try it, guys, yourself. It will deal a lot of damage. After that, like, what can I bring to the table, right? I think Tooth of the Claw, um, like, this pet is all around skill damage and War Pet skill physical damage dealt, uh, percentage damage, which is qu quite good. And also Blood War, Crit Rate, you're gonna add a Crit Rate to your uh, skill damage. So this is how I would finish the whole War Pet. Uh, I'm gonna, like, repeat one more time. Arrogance in the main skill, uh, after that terrible arrogance, after that um, forceful arrogance, uh, then I would go uh, fierce attack, um, I would continue with super fierce attack, and I would finish with forceful fierce attack. Additional two skills, I would add the tooth of the claw, and the blood roar. Let's see uh, how I would build, build my uh, Berserker Frederick. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not my priority right now. That's why I had uh, like these bad skills. But the ideal uh, scenario is this. And I, I plan to build uh, the Berserker Frederick just how I said it. Now, the most important uh, regarding like hero pairs. One and the main hero pair for Berserker Frederick is... For on deal, and um, I'm gonna uh, tell you guys why. Uh, so, as you remember, uh, like arrogance has a cowardness, which uh, like uh, for on deal has its own skill set. Like for on deal deals damage to the target legion and inflicts cowardice, and uh, any normal attack launched automatically miss for one second. So, like in general, also like Berserker Frederick is a flying warpet, and for on deal is flying hero. Now, uh, if you are playing with the Foron deal, um, I would recommend to try it with Berserker Fair Drake. But this Drake has also another hero pair, uh, which is Emerys and Bakshi. Uh, or like Bakshi and Emerys, doesn't really matter. Uh, simply because uh, like this hero pair is all about skill damage, casting as much skill damage as possible. Also, both of them is uh, giving the reduction of the rage. Like, for example, Emerys has... Uh, rage accumulation speed uh, on the second skill. Uh, Bakshi has some rage accumulation speed bonus uh, on the fourth skill. So you are using your rage skill a lot. And the Berserker Frederick, with the skill sets I spoke about, has a perfect synergy with the heroes, which has a low uh, rage skill um, uh, points in general and high skill rage accumulation speed. Uh, this is why I think in general Berserker Frederick is more of a uh, cavalry unit uh, warped. Uh, so you can play around it, of course. Uh, but my main idea is that it's great with Emerys and Bakshi, and it's great with Foron Deal, of course. Uh, other than uh, these heroes, I don't see uh, Berserker Frederick used in uh, any other uh, hero pairs, honestly. Uh, simply because uh, like uh, it's pretty strict uh, this skill. Uh, the arrogance, uh, so like uh, that's why uh, I would only recommend to build with Foron Deal or Emrys and Bakshi. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak regarding this specific uh, Warpet, Berserker Frederick. Uh, one by one, I'm gonna continue uh, making updated guides uh, about the Warpets, and I will repeat it got pretty much 10 times easier to get the gender repeat simply because we are getting too much uh, regeneration potions out of the events and merit store and also higher level warpits on the map to be captured so higher chance to get the legendary one uh, last one was about Sapphire Fair Drake now it was about Berserker Fair Drake uh, I have already done about Shadow Fair Drake because it's a new one uh, so, like, one by one, I'm gonna continue and uh, make um, this beautiful content for you guys. Uh, uh, all I want to see is that you are interested, guys, and I, I can see that you are. If you have any ideas that you want me to speak about something specific about the game, feel free to write it on the comments. And in general, uh, if you like my content, uh, press like, subscribe, it will bring smile on my face. Uh, because this is like uh, why I started doing this, right? I wanted to speak, I wanted to have a little community, which we're gonna discuss, uh, so I won't gonna get bored by playing this game alone. Uh, it kind of means that I have friends with whom I'm playing this game. 
So thanks you thanks a lot. Um, I will continue doing what I have been done for past six to seven months. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back very very soon. Bye bye guys.